what's going on y'all it's your boy dreamer from gotbetterbeats.com so in a nutshell what i was talking about was i was doing a consultation with a young producer that that i know and a dude he actually learned how to do a lot of stuff in a short period of time so he shocked me so we were just kind of chopping it up a little bit and you know when i was talking to him about beats he was like well you know i don't be using no loops or nothing and, you know, I just was kind of letting them know, like, loops aren't really cheating. Loops are sometimes, loops can help you. It's almost like collabing with another beat maker. It's like a beat maker sending you something and say, hey, I want to collab in my eyes. Because sometimes it allows me to go uh, places creatively that I wouldn't normally go. And sometimes it's just like, you know, even if I don't want to use the loop, sometimes I can get inspired on it, you know. Like, you know, find the chord progressions or either, like, try to get a style in my head. And sometimes I'll build up the beat enough to where I can just either drown the loop out in the mix or take it out completely, and it's just really, like, a different style beat. I just kind of went through, like, three or four of them. As you see, I'm, I'm in the Cymatics 2020 Melody co Collection. And this was, I think this was a free download, by the way. Yeah, it was a free download. So... Shout out to Cymatics. Y'all are really going to be the uh, the source material for my loops. Uh, they have some amazing loops, man. Like uh, They do have free kits, but their paid kits are, are awesome as well. Everything is, is you know, separated by key, genre, to let you know if it's a one-shot kit, like the one-shot drums, or it's like drum loops. So these guys are awesome. So don't sleep on them. Don't just get the free kits. Y'all make sure y'all purchase some of them too and i'm gonna do the reviews on the ones that i purchased so <clears throat> i think it's this one okay yeah and i know y'all feeling that because because i'm feeling that let me just move my machine down a little bit Okay, and what I like to do, I like to um, uh, alter my loops. I don't, you know, one thing I like to do, I like to see what I can do with the loop. Uh, you know, sometimes instead of just using it straight out. And I actually like that. So what we're going to do is we are going to... I'm going to go to the producer starter kit and and this is the kit that I have on my site and I found that I've actually been using this more because these are like my most of my go-to sounds for like my trap and hip-hop and stuff like that. I think I, yeah, I think I might do a little something different. So, Alright, 
and now I'm adding some uh, hi hat rolls, and this is just kind of creating, you know, just kind of giving me a something to work with. see like I know I'm kind of getting carried away with the beat but I'm just kind of letting you know how sometimes when you're dealing with beat block or even sometimes when you're not dealing with beat block sometimes it just kind of some kind of it just gives you something to work with and it just kind of helps you get started but let me put this 808 in here because see now I'm feeling this y'all probably gonna hear this on my website too much. things that I've been on um, trying to find like nice deep kicks that blend with the uh, with the 808 real well
quantize these kicks. And I'm turning the kick down a little bit too because honestly, I'm probably gonna have the 808 real prominent. So, what I'm gonna do now is, now that we got a, we got a pretty good foundation with the drums right now. And what I like about what I like about the hi hats is they almost have like such a uh, such a swing to them. They almost make them feel like you know like they actually off the off beat. So, you know, it just, you know, it just adds it, it just adds in, you know, certain flavor. But what we're going to do is we're going to add to this loop because we're not going to let, you know, a lot of times I don't like to do just have just the loop by itself. Sometimes I try to add in, you know, something, a pad, keys, uh, something, just uh, <laughs> voices, vocal chops or something. <laughs> got one of the chords in there so we're gonna see where where that takes us i need to find i know it's another one in there Using loops. Man. <laughs> my, um, my, uh, my audio thing was full. So it cut off the last 10 minutes of the video. But <clears throat> it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. As you can see here, I think all I did was, I think those 10 minutes, I was actually kind of thinking about what I wanted to put in the beat anyway. So all I did was, I'm pretty sure y'all saw the, you know, the piano I put in. Well, I don't know. Okay, and, and another thing that I did was I added it in this uh gospel riff oh not that gospel riff the one you see on the screen see got carried away gotta focus all right but this is it without the drums The key is, is for, 
you know, those of you who are, you know, kind of curious about using loops or might be against using loops, hopefully you guys learned that using loops could be beneficial to your workflow. Sometimes adding hi-hat um, loops and stuff like that just or percussive uh, loops just add an energy to a beat that sometimes you, you really don't have an idea for. So don't close your mind. Don't close the door on that side of creativity because it could be very beneficial to, you know, your workflow. So it could add something to your beats that wasn't that wouldn't have normally come from you. So keep that door open. Be creative and I make keep on making beats. Keep on singing. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the uh, or I hope that you guys checked out the uh, the cover song that I did. I did Dearly Beloved by Jamie Foxx. Let me know what you think about that. Um, it was a little different because I've mainly been doing beats before, but for those of you who know me, you know that singing was my first love and I've just been kind of wanting to get back into it. With this quarantine, I've been doing a little bit of everything. I've been taking advantage of time because I'm starting to realize that time is of the essence. And, you know, when kids growing up, I want to have more time with my wife, so I want to ring out as much stuff as I can into my work so that if I can inspire somebody, you know, to to be more and do more and they pick up the torch, whether it's my kids or whether it's one of you guys, I would be it would be a blessing to me just to know that I took part in helping somebody else, you know, achieve a dream or just even add a new love for music or something like that. So but peace out, man. I'm not, you know, yeah, I'll be talking to y'all all day. So <laughs> um, I might do the podcast like this. I, I, I kind of like this look, you know, just kind of, you know, just talking into the camera. So, uh, but peace. <laughs>